Hi everyone, Vicki here. I am going to show you how to make this vintage tape. I made a little project for um, Anna White and gave it to her at Easter time. And she was asking me how I made my vintage tape. And so I told her I would make a video. Of course, that's been several months ago. <laughs> And she's probably watched other videos, but if you haven't, Anna, here it is, finally. I'm going to make this because I'm going to be doing some vintage projects, and I needed to replenish my vintage tape. <laughs> so, I made a whole bunch already because I've made, this is my third try at making this uh, video. So, um, let me get to it. I originally saw the, a video of Nick the Booksmith, and she was making vintage tape back in 2020, last, uh, a couple of years ago. And um, she gave credit to Dave M., and I don't know who that is, and I can't find him, but she just gave him credit, and she made her vintage tape out of paints, and I think she had one um, alcohol ink and it was red so um she i don't know how she i you know i wanted to use alcohol ink because i have alcohol ink so i just watched her process and um and uh so i um figured out on my own my own what worked well for me since then i've noticed there's been other people who have made videos on um on this, I've, I've made a video as well back in 2020, but I had to do de to delete it because of my um, cloud. I didn't have enough space on my iPad, but I figured that out. Anyway, it's gone now. <laughs> so um, let me just show you a couple of projects I did. And some of you have seen this already, but I used vintage tape on this with the trunks. I've used this one, which I'm still working on for my album. This is me at uh, under five. And then also, this is a black and white photo. It's, I think it's Instamatic, right? And um, so I, I was 17 and working. And there is um, the tape I used, okay, that I made. And then also, here is a little booklet that I did with using this um, tape in a light color because of the light um, colors I used and this um, little booklet I made using the tape um, binder style and I have a video on that and so I did do that one and I did do this one with uh, I think this is Melissa Francis um, papers and I did do that uh, that type of of thing all as well and I think, was there a piece, I think I saw there was a paper I used that had kind of like a vintage, um, maybe it wasn't here, I don't remember. Anyway, so that is what I used it for in the past. Um, and these are the ones I made um, today, not this one, but these. But So let me tell you what you'll need, and if you uh, have them. At the very least, freezer paper, which I keep in my craft room. I use this for several things in my craft room, um, protecting tables and because uh, it's uh, that kind of plastic on the outside. Anyway, uh, inside, inside, outside. <laughs> You'll need uh, that to um, make your tape on because then you can take it off and put it on some kind of acrylic which I use um, the sheets acrylic sheets that I bought in a package at Amazon and then um, you can also use the packaging of products that you receive in the you know your your things you buy like Tim Holtz things comes in the acrylic casing and I just cut it up and I, I also um, use that to, um, to put it on. After I make it, I put it on onto here. If you have um, sticker 
this kind of sticker sheets that comes from home not home depot <laughs> home uh, what is it called office depot no um one of those staples or something they have this and a packages and a sticker paper you print it up this side and then you take it off on this on the side so you would use this this part not the sticky not the not the printer part portion but this throwaway piece is what you can use so that it doesn't um, stick to the paper I've done that in the past and it stick to the paper and then it becomes like this this paper in fact this might have been the freezer paper but it if you leave it long enough it's going to just stay there this is um, packing tape which also works well it doesn't come off unless you use alcohol it will you come off it might if you scrub it maybe but I, I put this in water and it didn't come off uh, I was trying to get the paper off in the back with the water dipping you know a soaking in water anyway so um so I'll use both of those I'll show you how to use both uh, the backing of the sticker paper and the freezer paper so I think I put tape here because I've been using this <laughs> I've been making this uh, several times did I put it on this one no just on this one I think I only used one so let me just tell you also the alcohol inks I used so this is um, if you just want to buy one because these are not exp they're not cheap I don't know if they're under five dollars bottle I can't remember um, but I've had these forever and um, and I, I like this one if you're going to bu just buy one buy butterscotch and I'll show you why and then this one I ha I used latte you can mix them and caramel and this is the darkest ginger you also need some alcohol in alcohol alcohol <laughs> rubbing alcohol and I put them in a spray bottle and I put it in a drop dropper droplet bottle you know with the drop drop okay <laughs> or if you have this already the alcohol blending solution this will work as well but you can, I don't know if you can spray it you probably can I don't know um, so let me just show you real fast because time is money <laughs> so you're gonna just uh, dip trip this on okay like so and other people do it differently some people use sponges some people use you know um, little dotting solution kind of way and you know this I just find this is the easiest way to do it so you just you can just at the very least you could just kind of get a glove and or not and just put it on like that okay and you can also do a little spraying if you want and that's what happens when you spray it okay I'll just wait for it and it will disperse so you could do it that way all right and then if you want to add color darker color you can use your butterscotch and you could just add and some darker color I'm going to use um, caramel this is really dark okay and the ginger is even darker yet all right so then you can just blend those two like this just you know barely just barely touch it so you have variations and then if you want to you would do that when it dries I'll show you when it dries okay the next thing you may want to do is to do your butterscotch if you want it really dark 
then use the use the ginger and that's really dark and um, let me see if I could spray that no that's okay so what that's what happens when you spray it just goes into itself but if you wait if you wait till it's dry and you spray it you get a different variation so I've even done that one with a really dark so you can see what that looks like and there may be projects you know that you might want to use if you do mi mixed media and um, use it like your washi tape um, so you just keep playing around with it and you get to variations like this this one I put uh, a droplet of, of um, alcohol right here just a teeny droplet and it's spread so that's that's a nice you know variation and then there's this which I really like this this one here right and I could still spray these if I want to break up the color I can I can spray this one too and it will it will still react but those are the different ones and that's just how I did it and I just played with it and um, see I still have a lot of this um, butterscotch I have more than you know more than half a bottle so it lasts a long time so play around have some fun and let me know how you like this and if you're going to use it, you think. If you think you might use it or not. <laughs> and, and try other colors, too. I love the colors. This colors are so beautiful. So you might like to try colors and do different things. I've even done this. Isn't that pretty with the alcohol? Look at it shine. Beautiful. Okay, so... That's my tutorial and I hope I come back soon to do other projects and thanks for watching. Bye bye.